My name is Andreas. I play in Cabal and I sing. Sing. My first tattoo actually got covered up. Uh, I got it right here. It's like it was this shitty nautical star. I got it when I was 16 years old. I didn't know what I was doing. I just wanted a two, and I went into a shop that didn't like check your ID. I said like I wanted that one, but now I, like I got it removed. So I have like I have this panda here instead, which is way better. The latest tattoo I got is like this, right over here, like this big wolf head that my uh, friend Peter did on me for my. I think it was like my birthday gift. I think there's like an, an overlap between like the musical scene I'm a part of and like the tattoo culture because it's both counterculture. Back in the day, if you got tattoos, you had like a sailor or a criminal and the kind of music, like the heavy music that we play, it's also kind of culture. Like I think like also back in the day, was people thought that like you're a Satanist or you're a cult member or something if you played like the stuff we do. So this overlap between these two countercultures just kind of like mix and matches together in some way. Playing Copenhagen was like a really, really cool experience because it's like, it's the biggest metal festival we have, I think in Scandinavia maybe. It's a major thumbs up from the industry, like kind of get le legitimizes the thing you're doing. Actually playing here that it's, it's not like a small town band, you aren't playing just like in front of 10 people, you're actually playing in front of a thousand people or something like that. It's kind of like it's a step in the right, right direction, like a huge step I think. Yeah, 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 yeah.